And you're listening to the 2400 Block Podcast with Johnny Rubes. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the 2400 Block here in the city beautiful that is Orlando. So, uh, yeah, make this the second one. I have a special guest with me. Of course, he is no stranger to the podcasting community here at the 2400 Block. As a matter of fact, he's been in for a couple of episodes. We even started our little <laughs> own segment called, uh, what's that? It's about bucking time. It's about, it's about bucking time. <laughs> yes, he is my special guest. See, we have Azale. Azale, how are you doing today, bro? I'm good. Thanks for having me back. <laughs> You're welcome, man. And uh, yeah, just for just for a few minutes, right before we head on out, we're doing this podcast here, and we just want to talk about what is the good life to you? To me, the good life is to be able to do things that I enjoy and just, you know, sit back, relax, and meet good people and enjoy good things with good people and to just enjoy life, the good life. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, it can all uh, go through, you know, the whole spectrum, uh, different areas, if you will. Uh, when it comes to, like, the good life, I think about, you know, financial security, mm-hmm. thinking that, you you know, you got you got, you got got it pretty much, you're set pretty much, mm-hmm. especially uh, with money, it can take you anywhere. Um, For you know, sure. Especially if you got long-term goals. Right. Yep, I agree. Yep. Anything, like, maybe just going to travel places, you know. Like right, now. Day, like right now, <laughs> in the beautiful city of Orlando, like you said. Yeah. Uh, and, of course, you know, while being there, you're going and experiencing the world. I'd love, I'd love to, like, actually go out and experience things. So, like, that was one of the highlights of the trip so far, going out and exploring and seeing this beautiful world that we live in. Yeah. Yeah, yes, indeed. And... Yeah, when it comes to the good life as well, uh, it's all about also the mindset. You know, just just waking up to a good morning, mm-hmm. uh, despite the kind of crashing headache I, I had this morning. I still mm-hmm. kept it positive. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we had, we had a lot of good food last night. Oh yeah, yep, we sure did. We had a great uh, experience at a restaurant called K Pot. K Pot, and uh, what we did there, we it's a Korean uh, hot pot restaurant and also korean grill Uh you just go there and they give you all the meat selections that you choose and you cook it yourself right in front of you on the grill yep and that was great it was delicious we filled ourselves up there i think the cool part about it too was like you make up your own sauce whatever sauce oh yeah yeah and you can go over to the bar they've got a table at the selection of all types of different sauces and you can take multiple or you can mix them up yeah and on top of that, they got a few uh, sides to there. Um, they got like egg rolls and crab legs, um, even course, chicken wings. Yeah, don't forget the chicken wings. <laughs> don't forget those. Yep, they were delicious. <laughs> yeah, that's that's definitely the good life over there. Food, yeah, definitely mm-hmm. food is is part of the good life, man. Yep. I mean, without food, <laughs> not shoot, losing we'll be, any weight we'll here. We'll be hungry by now. Oh, absolutely. And of course, that uh, none of that 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 special someone that I know. <laughs> she knows about hangry. Yeah. yeah. None of that here. Mm-hmm. Very well fed, very good food. We've gone to a few good places to eat while we've been here. Yeah. What are we on our... But it seems like our minds are... I mean, our, our taste buds. There you go. That's more like it. Our taste buds seem to be more inclined to Asian foods yeah. so far. <laughs> yeah. Well, we intended to get some uh, Mexican food, but that K-pot just popped out of nowhere. Oh, yeah. It's like, ah, we got to try that. And that right there was yeah. a wise decision we yeah. made. Really good decision. It's like, why not try it? Well, and um, while we were here, we noticed uh, K-Pot actually has a Chicago location as well. So Yes. We just found when out. We I went, back through, there, went through the website and looked, and there it is. Yep. When we go back there eventually, Chicago yeah. Ridge, if anyone's interested. Yeah, not too far from Any your work Chicago office. viewers, listeners. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For those in the Chicago area. It's in Chicago Ridge, right over mm. there on Cummins Drive or Cummins Road. One of those. Uh, yep. Shout yeah. out. Unsponsored Shout out. sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> Man, um, uh, before I jump on to a little bit more of the good life, what did you like so far in the Orlando area? What The, the, the things that you've seen so far? What, do you, what did you like? 
Oh, so far, so what I've seen. Of course, I like that. Uh, I like that. Uh, last time I was here, I didn't get to see any like rain clouds or anything. Uh-huh. Now, I love. I, I I don't love it. I like uh, hot weather. Uh huh. But I I prefer a little cooler weather. But I love rain. So uh-huh. like to actually see those rain clouds that that made me happy to see that while I was here this time around because last time I was here it was all sunny, which is okay. Because yeah. I'm on vacation, but I'd like to see every part of Florida that I can experience. You yeah. know, yeah, in, in, that's in, one of the things that I enjoy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And also, I saw it was like really foggy uh, the morning before. That was cool as well. Mm-hmm. Yep. Now maybe uh, it's very, very unlikely, but <laughs> if I see like a snowflake, that'd be cool too. <laughs> oh, <laughs> very unlikely. Let alone falling iguanas falling off right. the tree. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> But man, uh, when you're talking about weather, that that the, the effect from the the sun, uh, oh yeah, and the clouds, my goodness, oh yeah, on the way uh, back to the hotel mm-hmm. yesterday, there was a beautiful ray of light coming through uh, the clouds, those dark clouds that I mentioned. Uh-huh. That's another beautiful thing. You get beauty in between. So yeah. like it's like there was a beam of light coming through those clouds, and it just looked amazing. And unfortunately, my camera couldn't uh, recreate. It's hard. The view, the view that I saw through not my eyes. Not a scene, yeah. Not yeah. a scene well through our eyes. But it was awesome. It was awesome. I got multiple photos of that, but my memory is the one that came out the best. Yeah. It's so it's so amazing. Just look at the the color of the sun. Mm-hmm. Like, it, it's very contradictory to the clouds. Mm-hmm. The clouds was like bluish or purplish tones. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. Unfortunately, our technology isn't quite there on the human eye yeah. yet. Yeah. <laughs> Unless it just was trying to make everything brighter. Yeah. But who knows? I, I did enjoy seeing that, though. That was awesome. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Man. You know, if I only could take you to, to Animal Kingdom for you looking at all those animals and the Kilimanjaro safaris, oh, my goodness, mm-hmm. you'll be blown. Your, your <laughs> mind will be, like, blown. Yeah. I mean, look at those look at those giraffes behind you right now here oh, in the wow. hotel. You I've wait till you see entire one. Like, time, never noticed it. Yeah, wait till you see one like actually walking, actually towards the vehicle that we're riding. That mm-hmm. is that is cool, and I, I like actually that. recorded that moment. <laughs> we also went to the uh, downtown area of. Uh, was that also Orlando? Or yeah, that's that? downtown Orlando. Downtown itself. Orlando. Yeah. Okay, and yeah, we uh, we almost got caught in a bunch of traffic. Uh, yeah, there was a parade going on. I think it was Veterans Day related. That's why there's all those. You know the people in the blockades and yeah. car cop cars Military. blocking things. Yeah, uh-huh. even that. But man, the drivers here. I don't know if they're worse or uh, or better as far as uh, the traffic goes. That uh, got people cutting in left and right. Yeah, they're just trying to get uh, get in and like taking the like side route instead of just going with the flow of traffic like everyone else. But I mean, it's no better in Chicago. So like. I guess everywhere you go, traffic is uh, going to make people try to get from one place to the other as quick as possible. You know, I um, I talked to uh, a senior uh, many years ago, and he told me that the real, um, you know, the residents in Florida really are, are really good drivers, mm-hmm. but there's like an influx number of transients or, you know, people from, oh. from different uh, states coming in, including tourists alike. This is what you're seeing right now, this effect. That must be it. Yeah. That must be it. Yeah. And that, I, place like Orlando is probably a lot of tourists mixed in there. Oh, That's yeah. probably what it is. I didn't think of that until he just said it, but you're probably right about that. Could be. Yeah. Could be. That's true. That is true. It's, yeah. It's, uh, there were, um, we also visited a place near um, the downtown area. There were a lot of uh, homeless. It's pretty unfortunate. Um they were just sitting outside along the walls there. Yeah, uh, I don't know what their situation is, but I know it's hot out there. Hopefully, they can get some shade or something, you yeah. know, and some uh, people help them out, maybe. Yeah, it's also good to see the community volunteers do some cleanup. Oh as yeah, well. yeah, that was nice. Yeah, they were picking up a bit of the trash over there. Yeah, and uh, the area that we're talking about, me and uh, Azel here, we're talking about the the area where the Orlando Magic play at, the Amway, I guess it's called the Amway Center, as well as the soccer team over there, mm-hmm. uh, their stadium. Yeah. So, so that's the area we're talking about, yeah. around towards the Paramore area. I guess because of the parade, it, it was not a lot of people there, despite it being a 
metropolitan type yeah. of area. Yeah, there weren't very many people around, other than the um, the homeless people. Yeah, you know, if it wasn't for the parade, there would absolutely be nothing going on. Nothing, really. Nothing. Yeah. Why is that? Uh well, it's because it's the weekend. That's the one thing. I mean, like, oh, like it's so it's only more like, popular, right? During the weekdays, yeah. Okay. Okay. And you know, many of the workers here would you know like to stay home during the weekend. Yeah. Yeah. It's also cool exploring around. We did a bit of driving around the local areas. Yeah. Uh, saw different neighborhoods, different um, types of homes, different. Uh, uh, what is the, the tarps called in the backyards? Saw a lot Sod. of those. Oh, the no, sun tarps. Uh, oh, yeah, the tarps. Or I'm not sure. With the swimming tarp, pool? It's like a, a cover the for the uh, backyard Yeah. to prevent, I don't know, sun or maybe bugs. Something like that, yeah. yeah. A lot of the backyards had those. And, of course, those trees that look like they have, uh, like, cattails. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A lot of those. They provide a lot of shade. I noticed that when we were driving through the neighborhoods. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I see a lot of the homes too in the back. You know, yeah. they're it's very they're very protective, especially you know the swimming pool area. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, they don't want a lot of the bugs and yeah. lizards going in there. Yeah, I mean yeah. especially for the bugs laying their eggs mm-hmm. over there. Yeah. I don't think I don't think they would would they survive in chlorine. I probably don't think so. Probably not. No, no. But definitely a, a alligator or, or oh, a yeah. gecko. Maybe he's Who going knows? in there. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely cool though seeing that. Yeah. Uh, also, um, we don't have a lot of. Uh, if any, you know, lizards. We I know we have snakes in Chicago, but seeing the geckos and lizards uh-huh. just crawling around everywhere is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Cool to see. All we see is uh, maybe pet smart. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. And by the way, folks, I did have a, uh, a close encounter with a gecko. Yep. Um, of course, when we were eating. Right. Um, and Zale here was was uh, taking a picture of one. Yeah, I managed to take a photo. On the window. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's yeah. like right up, right up close. I don't think it noticed me until I like uh, you moved your. I'd like move my camera yeah. a little closer. Then he'd finally just he didn't run, but he he walked away a little bit, or yeah. crawled. Yeah, man. Uh, and, and I remember my my uh, <laughs> my close encounter with one. You know, a few years ago, uh, when one went into my shoe. Oh and I, and goodness! I, oh yeah, and I, remember you telling you know, me about and that. I slipped my foot in there. I'm like, whoa! It's so cold, and it just, it just <laughs> popped right out. Oh goodness! And, and ran, yeah. I wonder if they sometimes sneak into people's homes. If you leave the garage door, if you, if you leave, they'll yeah, go inside. If you, yeah, yeah, if you leave the garage door or just the door, like this one right here in the hotel. Oh goodness! Yeah, if you leave that open, they'll come right on in, and maybe they'll they'll stick on the wall for a while, and they're looking at you while you sleep. And it happened to me when I had my apartment. Really? Yeah, I was sleeping, and I just saw this gecko looking right at me. I'm What'd like, you do then? Did you try to get it out of I there? Didn't even, I didn't even. You just left out. it. I killed it. Ooh. Oh, goodness. I killed it. You I'm, murderer. <laughs> I mean, oh, but goodness. imagine if it's, you know, it, if it made many more of those in the home, that would be really, really. Oh, was it your home? Um, the apartment. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. The apartment I was staying in. I okay. Just, I just had to kill it. I'm I thought sorry. It was in a, you were in a, like, hotel or something. Yeah, okay. I mean, it freaked me out. Yeah, so I, I wouldn't it. want it uh, yeah. making more in my house. So. Yeah. That's unfortunate I mean, it, for him. I mean, if it was. Self reproducing, that's even scarier. <laughs> mm-hmm. Asexual. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Man, we're talking about the How good did he life. We're talking to get about in there? The, we're talking about this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hey, it's part of it, you know. Yeah. I mean, everywhere you go, there's there's um of course the good life living here, you know, there's gonna be things that like pests and, you know, things that you have to deal with, like the lizards, but you know, it comes with it. You know, everything has ups and downs. So, yeah. you know, when you come here, there's things that you have to deal with just like there, you know, everywhere uh-huh. you go. Cool. Mm-hmm. Good point. Good point. <laughs> Excellent point. Okay. Now going back to the good life. We all we all want it so bad. We all want that good job. I know right now mm-hmm. you and me, we're in a position right now where we're still the journeyman. We're still yeah. wanting to get a piece of that, you know, career. Yeah. Find something, you know. That we enjoy doing. Yeah. Hmm. But right now we're relaxing. Good yeah. life. This is a good time out. Yep. It's a good time to pause and reflect. Yep. And think about, you know, potential yep. things that you could we could be doing instead of our current, you know, yeah. jobs. Hmm. And, you know, what I, I've been just chilling out, relaxing, and uh, watching my TV shows <laughs> and laying back. And when we've been, uh, 
<laughs> okay, let's just say he's just making noises. There you go. That's there just, you go. Let's put it that way. Yeah, you can edit it. Yeah. So it's like, it, it's, it's fine. Now. Or do you plan on. <laughs> <laughs> I Sorry. Just put it straightforward. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah, making noises is the thing. That's what yeah. we did when we were kids. I'm sure, yeah. like, like you were putting your, 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 your mouth towards the electric fan and making noises with that. Have you ever done that? Oh, yeah. Sound yeah, like yeah, a robot. Absolutely. Yeah. Sound like a robot and shit. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> But but he but but this guy right here is just super talented at making noises. I'm not even gonna go specifically to what kind of noises he makes, mm-hmm. but it's just random. Me yeah. being random. Yeah. It's my uh quirk, if you will. <laughs> 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 Every now and then I just make a random sound. Yeah. I mean that that is a part of the good life, you know, sense of humor. Mm-hmm. Just 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 making people Doing laugh. That's what we like to do, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's not very uh many people here at our our hotel. At least during the day, I guess everyone's out uh, exploring. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. But like, whenever I go to the breakfast, because uh, they have uh, complimentary breakfast, uh-huh. there's a lot of people in the um, little cafeteria area. Yeah. It's, and I did. I guess I made the mistake. I I didn't realize that we couldn't bring our uh, <laughs> food back to the room. Um, and the lady stopped me on the way there. Like, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, I'll go back to the table. Mm-hmm. So I guess I just sat there and enjoyed my breakfast. That's weird. I yeah. guess they didn't want to clean some more, huh? Mm-hmm. It's okay. Yeah. That way I can get me some more uh, juice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Food is good here. Yeah. What about you, Buck? Have you... Uh, I remember we went to the Universal Studios the other day. There were a lot of cool uh, things there. Yeah. We took a picture with the globe. Yes, we did. I, I remember doing that when I was a kid. But it was so long ago. I, I just know I've got a picture of it somewhere. Mm. It looks a lot different from in my memory of it oh. now. So there must so have been probably, a lot of changes. Yeah, they've probably prior. changed it a bit. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we uh, we, we had to be there on time at Universal. It wasn't like around oh, yeah, almost 5 sun. o'clock. And sundown was about to be 5.42. Mm-hmm. So I had to, you know, we had to do this really fast. Yeah, sun <laughs> was, was I'm, almost I'm, gone. And I'm sorry to, to, to pace that up for you. But, man, I had to, I had to get it. I had to take it. Yeah. And then just go about with our activities. And I should have been there at 6 o'clock, but I, I just said to myself, I, I'll just pay the, you know, the parking because I want to get this thing going. And I'd rather be there than not at 6 o'clock where it's already dark and mm-hmm. you try to capture the picture. It may not be of good quality. Yeah. We tried to meet up with uh, one of John's buddies there, but uh, the his, was, his, uh, yeah, the traffic the was butt. crazy. So he ended up coming to the hotel a little bit later. Yeah. Yeah. And that was very nice of him, too. We had some really good here. boba at the Universal Studios. Oh, yeah. It's really nice. Do you remember the name of that place, by the way? I don't. I don't. But it was. I do remember the, where the stall is. I don't uh, remember the name though. Uh, was it Bon? Bon? Something? It might have been Bon Bon. B B A N H something. And I, Maybe. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to be homework. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't want to be inaccurate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's just having people looking for a Bon and Universal yeah. Studios. <laughs> it's like these guys talked about it but they don't know what it is okay it was right across from uh more well-known uh panda express and yeah was that a burger king i think it was yeah yeah it's Combo. a different kind of burger king it's like a burger king with a bar or something yeah the bk bar on the upper level of the uh universal yeah. studios um food area yeah i think next time around if we ever go back we should try that bob marley restaurant i'm down yeah they seem to have a lot of alcohol there too. <laughs> a lot of alcohol. Uh, oh, yeah. uh, for a whole the, lot of daiquiris. Yeah, daiquiris. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Have you ever drank alcohol? I mean, I know the sign that that's part of the good life, right there. To just in, I get into do not drink little, alcohol. Uh-huh. I have tasted it. Uh-huh. Like maybe not even a sip. Mm-hmm. Like I just put some on my tongue. I just, yeah. I guess I have a children's palate. <laughs> I do not care <laughs> for that taste at all. So I'm no. The last time I tasted some, the last time I tasted some was uh, some soju on the uh-huh. uh, Uber Eats app. Yeah, I, uh, I, you know, I watch a lot of Korean dramas, so I wanted to try try taste what some soju tasted like. So oh. I tasted it, and nope, still <laughs> not for me. <laughs> no, what, thank is, you. what does soju contain? You know, um, ingredients. Wise? I think it's uh, distilled rice. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Based alcohol. 
I'm mm-hmm. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Uh-huh. But they had on the app that I use, the Uber Eats app. Uh-huh. I ordered from a restaurant called uh, Ajuma's Apron. It's in um, I think downtown Chicago or somewhere oh. over there by the university. Uh, they had different flavors of uh, soju, and, but I tried the original. Just I wanted to try it. Yeah. Um, also wanted to try Mongoli, which is like rice wine. Mm-hmm. Um, I never tried that though, but I, the soju, I tried that. It was just like any other alcohol. I just didn't like the taste, so oh. that was that was it for me. Maybe one day I'll try the Macaulay though, Macaulay, yeah. which is rice wine. Yep. Yeah, I'm still trying to get used to drinking wine. Mm-hmm. I was introduced to wine by you know Reese's dad. Mm-hmm. He you know shared me some uh, white wine as well as some red wine. Mm. But man, uh, nothing is as good as uh, the fruit punch when I was a kid. I was always <laughs> oh, yeah. into fruit punch, and Delicious. somehow it just doesn't. It can't beat that. Delicious. And I'm still drinking fruit punch to this very day, and Same. I love fruit punch. Same. My favorite though is strawberry lemonade. Yeah. I take that over anything. That's my favorite. Strawberry lemonade. Yeah, and I've if, been if they have it, that. I'm taking it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That was my drink actually yesterday at the um, K Pot. Yeah. They had their strawberry lemonade. Yeah, too bad it's it wasn't delicious. a free refill, huh? Ah, yeah. I got two cups. That's fine. Yeah. Not a bad deal. Uh huh. And it was delicious. So, That's and good. I had a cup of water. Yeah. Probably best, you know. I don't drink too much uh, of the sugary yeah. <laughs> stuff. Drink good to get some water in there too. Yeah, it's even worse, especially if you're in a in a hot environment. Yeah, exactly. After drinking yeah. a sugary drink, oh and my of course gosh. they had, gave us uh, complimentary ice cream after. So yeah. Oh yeah. Ice that on top good. of the other sugar. Yeah. <laughs> I was pushing it. <laughs> ah, really? But it was delicious. All of that. It was delicious. Yeah. I gotta re- I gotta remind mm. myself that I had to take you to. Uh, I forgot what the name of this place is. Some dessert place over here that's very popular, and mm. a lot of people love it. So oh, yeah. I'll, I'll take you over there later. Gotcha. Get yeah. some of my uh, my my favorite drink, the vanilla malt. <laughs> oh, Unbeaten, yeah. unmatched. Yeah, we definitely but have to have Oberweiss malt. takes the takes the throne for that. Oh, there you go, man. Pulling in a plug for Oberweiss. I don't know anyone who matches Oberweiss yeah. in the taste of uh, vanilla malt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool. Let's see, what else? Oh, okay. What a good life here. When it comes to a car, what would you like like it to be? My personal car, like, um, for a good life. Yeah. Uh, Ferrari. <laughs> eh, no. I would go for. Hmm. Something you you want it gas powered or you want it electrical powered? Whichever one's the fastest. <laughs> That's what I'm going for. Whichever one's the fastest. Um, honestly, I don't. I don't need anything too too extravagant to, uh-huh. for the good life. Uh, if I get a car that goes fast, um, I mean, I'm not going to be able to drive it at the top speed unless I go to like Germany on the autobahn. Uh-huh. So, uh, if I'm going to get a fast car to drive in Florida, um. It'd probably be, I think I'd just go for a Lamborghini. I got, uh, uh, what are the, Ferraris are nice, uh-huh. but I'm, I'm more of a Lamborghini person. Yeah. To be honest. I guess to each his own. Yeah. Yeah, I'm more of a Lamborghini person myself. But it'd probably be like a top of the line Lamborghini. Like, uh, yeah. I think uh, it's called a Centenario, uh-huh. which is like... I like those. I think they're very limited edition too. So, like, oh wow, yeah. Mm. If not, just give me a regular Aventador. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. I just like how the sound of the the engine. Yeah, I think Lambos are, uh, not all of them. I think some are V tens. I like how V ten sound. If not, I just go for a Dodge Viper. That's actually one of my favorite cars. Yeah, Dodge Viper. I'm beginning to like our rental car. Oh yeah, the charger is pretty nice too. Yeah, I'm just I, if if I'm gonna go for a charger though, uh-huh. give me the Hellcat. Yeah, you gotta <laughs> give me the Hellcat. Take it up there. Yeah. No V6 for me, but the rental car is nice. Yeah, it is definitely for sure. Especially when I press the gas pedal, I'm yeah. like, wow, there's there's that effect. Imagine now, imagine that times like ten uh-huh. <laughs> from the uh, Hellcat. Ooh, because that's a V6. Uh huh. Hellcat's a V8. Wow. Think it goes so that V 
V6 is probably maybe 300 horsepower. Uh huh. The Hellcat's like 800. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you can hear the difference in the engine sound. We actually uh, were riding behind a Hellcat, um, not a Charger, but a Challenger. Yeah, and the guy uh, was going slow at first. The guy was going slow, and he, st- he he never really sped up. But he switched lanes, and you could hear the engine purr a bit. Yeah. But he never really went very fast. He was just trying to swap lanes. Yeah, he was doing it for a reason. He's trying to keep his car in good shape. Yeah. I don't think uh, those cars are known for having good trans- transmissions. Yeah. They're very heavy, despite being such a fast car. Yeah. Very heavy. Yeah. Yeah. As, as far as a uh, car is um, concerned, for me, for the good life, I really don't know yet. Yeah, I don't know um, yet. I'm, I'm kind of liking the Tesla. Now. I was thinking you were going to say <laughs> that. I was thinking because you were going to say because that because of Reza's video. Yeah. Teslas are nice. It's probably going to get better. You know? Yeah. yeah. It, uh, but they've got competitors who've who've uh, been in this industry for a long time now. Mm-hmm. So I feel like that they've got a new Cadillac um, electric uh, Escalade. Uh-huh. And that thing is huge and beautiful. And its range is like double that of the Tesla. Mm-hmm. I don't know how fast they are, but like as far as range goes, that's crazy. I think it's like 500, 500 plus um, miles range uh-huh. on a single charge. Yeah. Oh. But I don't know, you know, Tesla's also got, like, the supercharging. I don't know if every electric cars have that now. Mm-hmm. Um, me, personally, if I were to go for an electric car, I think I'd get a Rivian. Uh-huh. I like those Rivian trucks. Those are very nice. Mm-hmm. Have you ever seen that? No. No? I'll look that up later. Yeah, check those out. <laughs> check those out, man. Yeah, I'd probably go for a Rivian myself. Yeah. But oh, no cyber, Cadillac, tr- no cyber truck for you? That that the no what cyber truck oh cyber truck <laughs> yeah <laughs> maybe for not that I need it or anything the yeah. bulletproof uh, aspect of that is pretty cool yeah uh, if anything that um, I I, I want to see it I want to see some tests once it's released I, I don't know anything about it other than what was shown you know initially in the uh, conference showing years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, when they actually release it and give us some like uh, specs and speed and all that stuff, charge like duration, and I know it's supposed to go to zero to sixty in three seconds, which is insane for a truck of that size. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Um, Teslas are known for that though, going like accelerating really quick. Uh, most electric cars are very fast at accelerating. Uh huh. Um, but. I don't know. I'd like to see it on paper uh, first. You know, once the uh, the car actually is out on the streets, uh, I've heard, I've been hearing like a lot of people have been uh, receiving theirs um, now. It's actually starting to roll out. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, cool. That's my uh, take on the Tesla Cybertruck. Great. <laughs> okay. Um, moving on to more of the good life here. In terms of location, where would you like to live at? Me. I see here. This is more vaca- vacation place for me. Mm-hmm. I would love to live somewhere where it's. I like the cold. Yeah. So I love the cold more than I like the hot. So I would probably go somewhere like Canada or mm-hmm. Alaska or even uh, like Washington. I just want to be somewhere where it's it rains a lot or yeah. it's cold, colder. Mm-hmm. Not always cold, but like. A bit colder. Yeah. I'm a heavy person, so <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I like my cool air. Yeah. But who knows? That could change. You know, that could change. But for right now, those are my top three. But you know, I haven't explored a lot of the world, so you know that yeah. could change while I uh, while I um, see more. You know, see more of the world. Yeah, and uh, but, Korea being on the top of your list. For oh, sure. that'd be a nice place to visit. I don't know if I live there. Though. Like I haven't been there, but uh-huh. it's definitely a nice place. I definitely want to visit one day. Yeah, for sure. Live? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, okay. Well, as for me, you know, just want to be in a tropical environment. My my bones not be cracking. You know, it's, mm. not, it's, it's not. You know, my joints aren't making any noises right now as I'm talking to you. As I'm moving my arm. I'm not, yeah, this is definitely the I'm environment for John. Yeah. The Filipino soul. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that tropical weather. Yeah. Just something like this. Um, you know, California is a little bit too expensive for me. I, I like yeah. it more here. 
Um, a lot less tropical there too, yeah. since it's more of a desert. Yeah, I, I um, all right. This may go into a, uh, to a fence over there for those in Virginia, but uh, I lived there for too long. I, I I would love to to live in Virginia, but it's just it's just too much. I mean, I've, I've lived there for most of my life, so that's that's all. That's the only thing why I don't want to live in Virginia. Is just want to experience somewhere new. I don't want to run into the same people that I run into for for so many years, and then I bump into ex girlfriends. I'm sorry to mention that, but that's true. I've I've even. Uh, went into a restroom and there was someone that you know that bullied me and I'm like oh my goodness he's in the restroom like I am too in a public place so yeah that is a small world there in Virginia so mm. uh, I don't want to go back over there yeah I actually love living in the Chicago area right now just because it's so big it's so vast uh, there's so many you know small sized towns and cities in between uh, the farmland especially that it gets fun when you when you keep traveling and I know this guy right here he's been you know traveling around. Mm-hmm. around the area not just the tri-state area of course yeah yeah yep still more plenty more to, to discover though yeah one day miami <laughs> <laughs> yes we will we'll, we'll give it a try yeah we'll, yeah maybe maybe next year who knows it's such a su- surprise to realize i'm so far away and you said it was maybe four or five hours yeah I, I talked to my friend uh she said it was about four or five hours away Oh man! And she lives over there in St. Cloud, so oh, yeah, okay. I can't imagine it being farther. Yeah, we were closer to there last time we were here, right near yeah. Tampa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was cool being on the water. Yeah, although it is definitely nice seeing the the area in the inner parts of uh, Florida here. Yeah, yeah, in Orlando. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, next time we'll try to see if we could uh, go around uh, Cocoa Beach and Port Canaveral, of course, which is where, uh, you know, Risa is at right now, uh-huh. and she's uh, separate from, from our adventures right now, mm. and she's enjoying time with the company over there. So, uh, yeah, um, well, this is it, I guess. We have already reached the 30-minute mark, and I appreciate your input on The Good Life. And guys, to continue having on The Good Life, have a great mindset, try to be very strong, um, I know there will be people that will be taking you down. There will be people that will say a lot of bad things, mm-hmm. you know, putting your hopes down and everything like that. But, you know, only you know yourself and you know you, you got a lot of strength in you. And just just keep at it. Yep. Keep That's at it. all you it. can do, guys. Yep. So thank you guys for listening to the 2400 Block Podcast. We'll come up with more episodes once again. And until next time, folks, me and Azalea here will continue enjoying our vacation. All right. Take care, guys. Peace.